Boop. Oink, oink, Ultra Piggy Studio. I like that. So yeah, Stysomancer is a roguelike deck building game. Despite aspiring to live a peaceful life, fate forced you to embark on an adventure. Make the most of your deck and dice in a world filled with swords, magic, and guns. All to restore the tranquility you once knew. So let's find out what this is all about. Uh, let's see, it's about 926, so we will have time to um well time to look at this and a few others so perfect prologue okay uh settings simple um i'm not i'm gonna say right now not always show tutorials though i am curious <laughs> click me to report a bug that's adorable um and yeah i had to turn the music and the sound effects down to like 30 percent because it was it's strong um so let's have a look at the prologue What a great day. Let's go fishing on the west side of the village. Okay, this is us, and we're trying to go west, so we go here. Oh! So, this is the mana cost of this card. Looks like one. This is your mana pool. Every turn, you can get three mana. The mana limit is four. Go over, and the first mana gain vanishes. At the turn's end, all card all at the turn's end, all hand cards are automatically discarded. Now try to use the strike. Okay, estimated damage three, and it's a simple card. Deal three damage, and we're ordinary wolf. Bad wolf can be a bully sometimes. Oh, whoops. Hold on a second. I forgot to check that. That's the thing that I forgot to check. Did I also not change it for Summer House? I sure didn't. I am so sorry to Summer House, because that was a really adorable game. Um, that's the problem when you change too many games. You're like, I, uh, I forgot one thing. Um, but yes, so change the category for that. Um, I will... I think I'll clip, 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 clip these and try to add them, um, but I'll, I'll also put these on YouTube, so, okay. Alright, so we did three damage to an ordinary wolf. Do we know what the wolf is going to do? No, so I guess we'll continue to strike. Oh, and then we'll block. Okay, I like the putting the shield down, that's nice. And then we end our turn. Enemy's turn. Okay, so we can see the enemy's intentions. Enemy's next turn plans are displayed here, resolved from top to bottom. Plan wisely in response to the enemy's intentions. Okay, so we know that... Oh, interesting. Oh, the block has it each turn start. So we know that they're going to strike us for three damage. So... Okay, so we should gain three block, gain three more block, and then strike for three. Okay, we end our turn. I do like the animation style, it's nice. Okay, and our block goes down, so we've lost our block. Okay, you're gonna strike me again, so we should block, block, and strike. And then end our turn. Okay, so we'll just kind of. Oh, wait, never mind. We can take them out. So let's do that and that. Okay, good stuff. Choose between one new card Fishing Wish. Okay, so it's fragile, so we remove the card after it's used, but we can heal 12 HP and draw two cards. So, yes. <laughs> no, all the bean water for me. Um, but hey, Rocky Mount, welcome on in. Um, I do hope that everybody is getting their own bean water or leaf water or just water water, depending on how you like to go with your morning. 
And, uh, hey Gary, good morning. Ooh. Okay, so this is a piggy. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery. And it's going to deal five damage to me. Yikes. Okay, well then, let's block. And block. And strike, but it's gonna reduce damage taken by three. So... Yeah, this Piggy has a special ability, Thick Skin. Thick Skin cuts Piggy's damage by three, so regular strike cards can't harm it. Try to use a more powerful card against it. I don't... Ah, I was like, I don't have a more powerful card, but... Okay. This is now mana with color. This card is effective, but requires blue mana to use. Blue comes from any blue card. Drag a card to the mana pool to exchange it for mana. Here, both strike and one-time crossbow can be exchanged. Ah, so this is interesting now. This is interesting now. We have to trade in strike. Yeah, how do I... Hold on. Oh, I need mana to convert it to mana. Okay, in that case... This is pretty much all I can do, but I don't want to do it yet. Okay, yeah, this is gonna hurt. Well, no. Okay. So, now that I have mana, I can convert this into a blue mana. And that changes... So that changed one of my mana to blue. Um, I'm going to use the crossbow. And it has an exert on it. So... Um, it's going to remove the card from the battle after I cast it. So let's go ahead and use this. Um, and then gain three block. And gain three block. Um... And then I end my turn. It's going to hit me again for five. Okay, so again, I need to be able to... So let me... I have mana, so let me, let me basically just... Hmm. Oh, yeah, well, let's see. You're going to reduce it by three, so I still need to block. I'm going to take some damage from this. Um, okay, let me put you over here. Let me use the crossbow. There isn't a whole lot else I can do. And you haven't really hurt me yet, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna gain three block. What happens if I end my turn with, a, with that mana converted? Does it stay as blue? Or not? By converting it, it stick around. So now I open this turn with one blue mana, so now I can use the crossbow. Boop. Okay, choose one new card. And another one. Okay. So let's see here. We have okay, we have a few to get through. In our journal, I met a girl. Swords and shields are so boring. Try these goodies. Okay, so we get Chaos Strike times two, Crossroad times two, and Dice Bonus times two. Okay, so Chaos Strike deals... Oh, okay, so that deals damage for a dice roll. Crossroad, check 10, deal 8 damage. Check 10, deal 8 damage. Failed, gain 6 block. And Dice Bonus is gained for luck. Okay. So this is coming in the new mechanic. But the girl left. What the hell is all this? I'm gonna keep on moving. Okay, so I think it's about to show us the dice mechanic in addition to the card mechanic. Yes. All right, so multicolor mana. Um, 
Either purple or looks like chaos type mana can be used to play this card or regular mana. If you have the purple mana, okay, so it uses colored mana first. Okay. So luck is a stat. When rolling dice, roll an extra dice and take the highest result. Then lose one luck for every six luck. Roll one more extra. For every six luck, roll one more extra dice. Ooh, okay, so. Hmm. Okay, so you're gonna heal three and then strike, but I don't have. Ugh. I don't have any. Okay, I'm gonna put this here. And put this here. And try and use this. Okay, so I've got some luck. I'm also gonna heal. And draw two cards. Do I get? No. Oh, interesting. This picky doesn't have anything. This picky doesn't have thick skin. So I can do direct damage. That's nice. Okay. Um, crossroad. Check. Roll a d20. The result e if the result equals or greater to the check value. Okay, so I roll a d20. If I get a 10 or higher, I deal 8 damage. If I get a 10 or lower, I gain 6 block. Okay. I can now use this. I'm gonna put you over here so that I have one of you for the next turn. And I'm gonna end my turn. That wasn't pleasant, but okay. Um, okay, and now this is the chaos strike, so we basically can do 1 to 20 damage, and we're not sure uh, which. I think what I'm going to do is use the crossroad. So, either deal 8 damage or gain 6 block. Let's find out. Okay. It was over 10, so we were able... It was over 10, so we dealt the damage. Um... Gonna deal five damage, so I'm gonna block and block again, and we'll strike you. Okay. Oh, because I have luck, it's kind of like rolling with advantage. I roll an extra dice and take the highest result, then we lose. Then we lose. So if we get if we get, like, for every six luck points that we have, we get to roll one more extra dice. That's very cool. Okay, we are going to convert this to blue mana. And then we are going to use this to take out the healthy piggy. I'm sorry. But you're in my way. I was just trying to go and enjoy some fishing, and all of this is happening, and I'm not sure why. Oh, this looks fun. What the heck? You are the piggy boss. You reduce damage taken by 99. What is the point? I mean... Okay. Okay. The Piggy Boss, powerful leader of the Piggy Clan. How dare you treat my piggies like that? Well, they started it. Okay? I I was just trying to... They started it, is all I'm going to say. They started it. Alright? <laughs> okay, so 
You're going to hit me for 12 damage. Um, I'm going to try it. I'm going to gain four luck. <laughs> Things just got complicated. Why is this piggy so strong? You won't be able to handle it like that. Wait, who is this? What what is what is happening? Who Here's something good for you. Who are you? Okay, so this is a super strong dice card. You can use dice to change any number you see on the screen. Wait, what? What? This change is permanent until you die. Try playing with this deck. Who, who are you? The one dice. What just happened? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I just got all, like, all of this. These are free cards. These are free, 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 free cards. <laughs> and then this one. Deal 99 damage to all enemies, and then deal 99 damage to yourself. Okay, so this is going to be really interesting. Let's, let's see what happens. Um, first... Stop looking and use the dice. Is the is the okay? Okay. If anybody has ever seen like the isekai anime where suddenly the character gets this wild overlay on screen and can do anything, Like, I could change my mono pool. I could put... No, I... What? Okay, so... First off... Okay, so it still does... Okay, so it still does take the higher, but... Okay, so damage taken is reduced by six... What I'm really curious about now is I can change this. Permanently change the target number to like, okay, now I gotta know what happens if I click on this. You can't change the number in the dice modifier, okay. Oh my gosh, okay. All right, hold on. This is amazing. So, I, okay, I can also change this as well. Um, okay, let me, let me change the amount of damage you're going to do to five. I'll take that. Uh, let's change your... Oh, see, okay, I, I kind of did this to myself by having luck ahead of time, so, ooh. So, I should be, um, the problem is, is that I, these are only six D6s, so I don't want to use these on myself, yet. So, we're gonna change you. Okay, so now you have six hit, point, six hit points. That just acted like damage? Interesting. Interesting. Um. I looked. Okay, so that's another six. Okay. Um, you reduce damage taken by six. Kind of for 
I love that. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, turn the combat log off. Okay, I don't have any luck, so now it'll be just a regular D6. Um, okay, so we need to change this. This is what we need to do. We need to change this. And this is what I should have done in the first place. Um, thank you for the follow. Deal X damage to all enemies and deal X to yourself. No, this is what I should have done in the first place. Is four damage to me. And 99 to all enemies. That's what I should have done. And I could just keep going until that was like lower. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do that. Okay, that was interesting. The end of the beginning. I just saw something purple in the distance, and it feels like it's getting closer and closer. It feels wrong. That's not good. Time to go home. Uh, leave. Purple Mist. The power to change numbers comes with a cost. Purple Mist will chase you throughout your journey. Whenever you move forward, it will also chase you a small step forward. Getting caught by it means danger. If the mist covers the full map, you fail instantly. Oh, okay, so we gotta go. It even tells me when it's going to catch me. That's clever. The purple fog keeps spreading. In this haze, I seem to see things not of this world. The world is broken. <laughs> the girl appears again beside me. Why is this happening? Because you use that dice card to change the numbers in this world, it's quite useful, right? Otherwise, you would have been beaten by Piggy Boss. Who are you? Ah, oh, I am a god. Only a god can do such incredible things. I came to save you. What? Save me? How? If you stay here, you'll be swallowed by these purple strange things. She says this with a smile, even though it's a frightening thing. Escape this world with me. Eh? All right. <laughs> the name of this god, the one who gave me dice. Welcome to my home. This is the middle realm, the junction between parallel worlds. I also notice our health has gone up to 50. The world we just left is no more, but I can take you to countless almost identical worlds. However, no matter where you go, you'll have a purple mist chasing after you. Is this like Crisis on Infinite Earths in DC when like the wave was just coming for all of the Earths? If you can run all the way to the center of the royal city, I'll send you to a world where you'll have time to leisurely fish. Good luck. Don't forget to bring the dice or you won't last an hour. Okay, my dice aren't up here with me because all of them are in my tub over there, but I got lots of dice. It's fine. Um, hey, welcome on in. Okay, so we can upgrade our... Okay, so this is how we can um, upgrade things. We don't have anything to upgrade with yet. Repair. Select your class. Oh, okay. So your class and your start deck will be generated based on the mana orbs you've chosen. You will gradually unlock other orbs along the journey. For now, drag and drop the blue mana to the center. Okay. <laughs> the blue orb. Knowledge, wisdom. As a sage once said, a pig without a brain is just a pig. Well, yeah. Okay, so it looks like our starting class is sage. Vast in knowledge, improvising with courage. Be water, my friend. 
Okay, so we could we could take that out if we wanted to, but we can't. So these def these decide essentially what our deck is going to look like. After deciding your class, you will receive some starting relics. Relics are very useful. Be sure to check it. Activated relics, such as the one dice, need a click to trigger its effects. Remember to use them. Okay, so... We have the one dice, and that permanently changes the target number. Um, we've, we've already gotten our charm done. And I think it's... Okay, we clicked it to make it happen, so it's good. Okay, let's try one more round. Getting close to 10 o'clock, so nice. Ah, oh, familiar scenery. Let's go a bit further and see. Whoa. Okay. And I can see the line behind us. The purple mist is changing because we, uh, we, we have the power. So I can't resist question marks because I got to know what they are. Okay. You are an angry little crow. The bird has multi-strike. The bird will increase its attack time each turn, but there is a limit. Okay. And... So I can use the one dice. And it is charged up. And I can change the number on anything. Okay, you're going to deal... Six damage to me. Oh, interesting. So now this is a block that uses um, this is a block that uses chaos mana. I could possibly gain between one to six block. Well, we got to use it. Okay, so we rolled a three. Oh, it did a quick roll over here, so we rolled got three block off that. Um, let's do three more block. Let's do a strike. Estimated damage four. Okay, so you do have two health bars. Okay, I can't convert. Okay. Oh, so it's going to do one more attack each time. Interesting. Oh, and here's the one dice. Permanently change the target number. Okay, I've got a crossbow. Um, oh, interesting. Okay, so it actually has loaded ammo. When it reaches zero, you need to reload the card by using the crossbow reload. Okay, so this will do 12 damage. I'm going to use the one dice to change your damage here. Did that help me? Did a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna use the crossbow. Health bar broken, damn. Okay, oh, these are gold. Okay, so I could choose between four new cards or gain two gold. Let's choose a card. Okay, parry, gain 16 evasion. Oh, I do like that. Evasion, when you're being attacked, roll a d20. You have to add 16 to the final result. If you succeed, the attack misses. Lose half regardless of... Oh. Interesting. Hey, base. Welcome on in. Uh, divergent thinking. Increase your mana capacity by a d4. And if this card isn't drawn this turn, this... Okay, so this is, this is getting very, very, very... Complicated. Um, oh, can we also see the map from here? We can. That's cool. Okay. We're going to try this one. Oh, we also get... Okay, so like other games, you got to click on all of them when you're done. Okay, let's go to see what the random one is. Purification Priest. I ran into a priest and he looked alarmed when he saw me. He asked... 
My child, you carry an ominous aura. How about I perform a purification for you? Okay, so. We can pay him three gold to gain 24 HP and leave. Um, okay, if we had a distortion on a card, we could do that. This is interesting. If we had six gold, we could hold back the purple mist's advance for three times. That would be awesome, but we don't have six gold, so we're going to leave. Um, okay, another fight. Okay, you are a throat wolf. Not a throat goat. I apologize to Kim Petrus for that. Okay. Um, okay, so this card, this, this, this throat wolf has evasion. When being attacked, it rolls a d20. It adds, it adds its evasion to the final result. If it succeeds, the attack misses. Lose half. Okay, lose half regardless. Was okay. This is interesting. And this is another thing. Hey, Punkle Nix, welcome on in. Hey, y'all. Um, okay, so the wolf is going to bite you, but focus. If the enemy's health bar is broken, all of the focus intentions will be destroyed. So, if I can break this health bar, which I can oh, I can, then it won't be able to attack. Okay, so let's do that first. Um... Okay, so it failed its evasion check. Uh, can I see that closer up, please? Okay, so the throat wolf rolled dice, getting a five. It made an evasion check and it was a... Oh, okay, so. That's how evasion works. Um, it rolled a d20. It got a five. It then added ten to that, but it needed to get twenty. So, now when I attack it, it's going to need to roll a fifteen or higher to evade the attack. Okay, so let's try that again. Um, okay, so it it rolled a fifth. Hold on a second. Sorry, my bad. Uh, the throat wolf rolled a ten, and then added it to it. So it it didn't make it, um, and it lost its evasion again. Okay, and then the sage charm was triggered. What does the sage charm do? When an enemy's health bar is broken, draw two cards and gain two block. Nice. Okay, so right now you may evade my attack, but you can't do much else. So I could do a d8's worth of damage to you. Um, my crossbow is empty, so I think I'll do this. Okay, so when the crossbow next shows up, it will be loaded, and then we end our turn. Okay, so. Divergent thinking. Increase your mana capacity by a d4. The miracle means if the card isn't drawn at this turn's draw card phase, trigger its effect when casting. So... Okay, so we rolled three, so now we've increased our mana pool by three more. Um, this will deal d8 damage. Again, we can now permanently change the target number anywhere. So let's try that. Let's try changing their next health bar. This is wild to me. This is this is kind of amazing. The only way that the one dice is going to get better is if that changes from a d6 to like a d20 or something. Um, oh, we can also even change the charge numbers on my one dice. I could change my block. Um, but I think we will change how much damage you're going to do to me. So now you'll do three damage. And 
And I can block for that, so let's block for this. Okay, I rolled a six, so I'll block that, no problem. Um, and then let's do a D8 of damage. Let's find out what that's going to be. Okay, estimated damage, one to eight. Hit chance is modified to 85% um, because the evasion. Okay, yeah, the evasion check failed. Sorry, buddy. I, I, mean, I mean, I'm not sorry about it because you're a uh, throat wolf. Okay, the health bar is broken, so I get to draw two cards, but I can't do anything with them because I'm out of mana. Um, so let me end my turn. Okay, the mechanics are slowly... I'm getting this. Um, okay. So you're going to evade first, and then you're going to strike. Because uh, you have no evasion. Am I able to take you out? I am. So we're just going to take you out. Sorry, buddy. Uh, okay, let's gain our gold. And let's choose a card. Tactic Reload. Take two cards with ammo from draw pile. Reload all reloadable cards in the hand with two. Nice. Memorandum. Choose. Draw three cards or add two blue mana. And then we get to keep it for another two. Okay, so we need to keep it. Or Rocket Launcher. Deal seven damage. Repeat this once for each card with temporary in your hand. Ooh. I think we'll do this. Um, but let's see here. We are at 10, so let me take a pause. Um, this is cool, and I can see... Oh, okay, yeah, that, that will become impassable now. Um, so yeah, it's definitely got that interesting roguelike emo roguelike aspect to it. Um, and you're trying to outrun the purple stuff, just like the Sunny D commercial. Um, you're trying to outrun the purple stuff. And there are ways to pause it, like random encounters can make it freeze and pause for a while. But now you've got deck building and dice in a roguelike game. It's kind of cool, I gotta say. Um, but I'm going to go to the main, can I, hold on, let me go. Do I have a way to save my game? Oh, I can also show my entire deck. Um, I wanna go to the main menu. Progress to be auto-saved, excellent. So we can come back to this, but that's really cool. And the prologue is like, if you wanna see how everything gets started, and otherwise you can just hop into a new game. Um, that's really cool. And as always, do not forget to wishlist it. Uh, Dysomancer. Dysomancer is available in the Steam store uh, right now during the Steam Next Fest for the demo. So hop in, take a look, and uh, if you like it, go ahead and grab it. So, a lot of a lot of like, it's taking that 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 deck to a new aspect. It's very, it's got a lot more elements of like Magic the Gathering than I would say regular deck builder uh, roguelikes. But then the dice add that extra add that extra random element into it. So it's like, oh, okay. This, oh, okay. Um, so let me go ahead and quit this one.